So would you be willing to tell a man before a first date that you're seeing other men if he asked? Yes, I don't believe in lying. Would you feel affronted if he did ask? Would um, you be like, Why? that's kind of none of your business? I would just assume that he's asking because he's overly concerned. So I would like to alleviate that and just answer. Okay. Would, would it be like negative? Would you view him slightly negatively if he asked something like that? Or in honestly, neutral? I, honestly, I, I think I would be a little like put off by it. I'd be like, I don't think you should be concerned about that because I'm not concerned about that, you know? So you wouldn't, for example, if you knew that a guy, and I will go around the table on this, guys. If you knew that a guy was, let's say you wanted to pursue someone for a long-term relationship, you knew he was sleeping with seven other women, that wouldn't be part of your um, analysis, what's the word, equation of, maybe I don't like, want to date this I, guy. Would I want to date someone that's dating seven other people? Yeah. No, if we're being real. Okay. Like, be for real, obviously, But no. But I, I want to maybe challenge you on trying to reframe reframe that maybe he's asking because he he won't he's not just gonna fucking chuck you he's not gonna do he doesn't want a one-night stand with you he actually wants to pursue a long-term serious relationship with you and that's why he's curious mm -hmm. so could you reframe it like that to be like oh actually this is a genuine guy who actually wants to pursue a relationship with me yeah i could anyways uh yeah. so question's a question so would you be willing to tell a guy before a first date that you're seeing other men if he asked? Uh, yes, but that's also like a red flag from his part. Like, why would you want to know that in the beginning? Obviously, in the beginning, you're always dating, you know, you're maybe talking to somebody. Why would you even want to know that? Why would a guy want to know that? Yeah. Well, we, we just talked about it. I think it's just like pointless because then you don't, you go to the first day, you get to know the person, right? Like, it doesn't matter because that, it, it, I mean, yeah, obviously, I wouldn't want to go out on a date with a guy knowing that he's going out with seven other girls. Okay. But I already assume this person is already talking with other people. You know, I'll be my best. And maybe if we connect, he would choose me, then automatically those other people won't be in the page anymore. That's my thinking. So, wait, okay, so, well, I can tell you why you, you asked why a guy would want to know that, right? Mm. Okay, I, I can tell you why, for example, I might want to ask that question. If I asked the question and the girl was honest with me and she said, hey, you know what? Yes, Brian, I'm sleeping with two other guys right now. You're free. That's fine. You can do that. But I don't, I no longer want to go on a date with you we're not compatible. So why, I don't want to waste why your time. Why are you not compatible? Why am I not compatible with a girl that's but sleeping just, with three other men? He's saying they're I'm not talking compatible with just dating, okay? Like, so you were even saying, if the girl is talking, seeing other people, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are sleeping with them, right? But let's say I have planned two dates this week, right? And you have asked me, are you seeing other people, right? Why, like, we're, dating you it's not like you go in one day you're finding the perfect person and you're already assuming that's like also insecurity you're asking those questions already to cause a problem is it insecurity or is it having a boundary i think it's like values what he's talking about like because what you had different values well what you call insecurity i call having a boundary so you would only go out with on a day if the girl is not talking to anybody no yeah. I, I, I accept that women are probably talking or enter talking to other guys. However, if I find out that she's currently sleeping with another guy, now how would I find that out? Most girls are either not gonna, they're not gonna be upfront about that, they could lie. Um, yeah, so I, why ask? Well, you wouldn't know he wants if the to know person. if he's wasting his time or not. I yeah, but the girl, exactly what you said. Before going to a first date, you're messaging, hey, are you slipping with other people? I mean, I'm, I'm not agreeing she with, could, like, having to ask that on the first date, but, like, if you do somehow find out, he wants to know if he's of importance if, to her that 
she's not smashing if, other dudes okay. on the side. Yeah, so if I find out, or if somehow we're talking, maybe when we're on the phone call, it comes up organically, we're talking about previous relationships, and I don't know, just somehow it organically comes up. I mean, certainly it'd be nice if you could just be straight up and just be like, hey, are you hooking up with other people right now? But I don't know, maybe I should start doing that, to be honest, but um, they're just, I wouldn't even want to go on the first date. Is it too hot now? It's pretty hot. Eric, can you <laughs> open the the? Um, I understand. I wouldn't want to as well, but it's not a question that I. I think I. I mean, it's really hard to judge people, right? Like, I think. Obviously, this is the problem with dating apps, because you don't know them. But if you meet somebody. In real life, mutual friends in a bar, you can tell a little bit. Like, it's not like it's going to give it away how many people they're sleeping with, but you can tell their values, and then you will take them on a first date. You seem like, okay, this girl is nice, has good values. I want to take them on a date. You're going to scare the person if you'll be like, are you sleeping with other people? Perhaps, maybe. But if she's not, then... I mean, there, I think there's also more eloquent ways you can ask it. You could say, are you seeing anybody else right now? Where instead of saying, hey, are you fucking anybody else right now? I think if you ask someone, hey, just, you, you could, here's how I might frame it if I were to overtly, if I were to just straight up ask them, I might frame it like this. I might say, hey, listen, I just want to be upfront with you. I'm, I am looking for something serious. I'm not interested in one night stands. I'm not interested in friends with benefits. I'm not saying we're going to be boyfriend, girlfriend right away, but that is, I am kind of dating with a purpose and just, you know, I'd like to know, mm -hmm. I kind of fucked up the last part, but you know, I, are you currently seeing other guys right now? That's I might fine. frame it like that. That might be a better landing for that sort of question, but yeah. Yeah, if you frame it like that. I just don't that's, want... That's a point. That's and and that's true for me because I'm not interested in just running through a bunch of girls. It, I, it, it doesn't interest me. Having sex with a bunch of different girls once, twice, and then never talking to the gem, talking to them again that's not appealing to me. No, that's so, fair. And I, I, I value, and you know what's interesting when it comes to sex, right? Um, first off, the most consistent and regular sex that you're gonna have is with, within a relationship, I think. I mean, unless you're a real fucking player, but um, you're gonna have the most consistent sex, you're gonna have the best sex. Because I mean, I, I think anyways, the best sex that you're gonna have with someone is you trust each other, you love each other, you have comfort, you have a connection, connection. you, there's an, um, um, uh, excuse me, getting tongue-tied here, there's an emotional connection, and then just on a purely physical realm, you know, there's a, uh, you know what they like, and they know what you like, and so, yeah, so, um, I don't know, I've never, me personally, maybe I'm different in this way, I've never been interested in just sleeping with a whole bunch of girls, it doesn't, it doesn't, Oh wow, that's striking. You look great in that. It doesn't interest me. It doesn't interest me to just run through a bunch of girls. I value more so long-term serious relationships. Obviously so. in that scenario that you had put, it's true, but it's just that it, it sounded like, oh, if the girl is going on a different date, I'm not saying sleeping, but different dates, it's a wrong thing, you know? But mm -hmm. it shouldn't be because you're getting to know people, especially from dating apps, because you don't know anything. All you see is just like, a picture and how tall they are and you don't know anything you don't know how, and sometimes people don't connect on the first day you don't you, there is no there is such thing as first uh, love at first sight but as you grow older it's 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 not like okay I met you and I'm in love with you I'm gonna cut everything I'm not gonna meet anybody anymore you know like so I, I was well, saying that sense I mean going on five dates a week to me just seems exhausting to be honest and, no that's true and yeah. uh I, and I also think that, I mean, why is it that we've seen the rise of, because I feel like kind of before social media and before dating apps, people were more likely to get into relationships, whereas now we have situationships where someone wants a bit something more, someone doesn't want to commit, and it's because we have such an abundance of options. And I mean... You can't, I don't think you can simultaneously say, I don't like situationships, but also, and I know you didn't say that, but 
people often complain about, oh, situationships, they suck. Like, I just want a partner. And then also be going on multiple, like, going on all these dates too and entertaining multiple options. So I, I think that... Um, I think it's also a cultural thing. And then unfortunately, it's how dating is right now for the 20, 30 people. You know, because exactly what you said, there is like a bunch of options out there. And that's what I was saying before about the lack, lack of effort. Because why are you going to do the same thing for 10 girls that you're going to go out with? You get what I mean? Well, I mean, to me, it just seems exhausting to be going on a whole bunch of dates with different people. I say, I mean, people can do whatever they want, but I think what would be the most optimum thing for both men and women is talk to someone and really try to just pursue one person at a time. If there's that m mutual interest there, um, I mean, it's, it's funny, I, I think this was about a year ago, I went on a date with a girl who was, I don't know, my, she was 31 or something. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Uh, too, what, too old or something? I don't no, know. it was uh, the comments. Oh, one of the comments, yeah. Oh. Went on this date with a girl, 31, like pretty average, girl uh and, well here's the other thing that i think might be frustrating for a lot of guys an average woman has so many options she was I, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean but she was average not particularly remarkable in terms of her personality she wasn't exceptionally charismatic looks wise average um average job worked i don't know she was a nurse or something she told me we went on, I went on a date with her and she told me she had just down we met on Hinge. She had just downloaded it 2 days prior, 3 days prior. She said that and I think she'd been on it for 3 days. We had been on a we went on a date on the third date that sorry guys, getting tongue tied again. We went on a date the third day that she had the app. She had told me she had already been on one date and she told me she had two dates planned for the weekend. The way that makes me feel is well, one, it's just shot. It's kind of crazy to me that someone so average has that degree of options, but that's how it is for women. Um, but I was like, I, okay, well, what if I wanted to hang out with you on Saturday? You already got plans. You're going to go see another guy. The likelihood that I'm, it's going to work out between you and me, you're talking to five other dudes. I'm, I'm checked out. I just, mm -hmm. we're done. Like, I, I don't want to pursue it. 